Well, hi, this is Jay Arthur, author of Lean Six Sigma Demystified and the QI Macros. And I want to talk to you a little bit about one of my concerns, which is uh, in a lot of Six Sigma trainings, we spend a lot of time teaching people formulas for control charts or whatever, uh, CP and CPK. And why are we doing that? I don't know if you've noticed, but almost everybody was traumatized in grade school about math and, and they decided they were bad at math and there was nothing they could do about it. And if you start showing them formulas, guess what? They say, this is too hard, I can't do it. All the software that's out there, including the QI macros, will do all those calculations for you. You do not need to know any of that, right? Back to my 450 rule, you do not need to know everything to do anything. You don't need to know formulas, you just need software that'll do it for you and make you look smart. You don't need to know statistics. You don't need to be a statistician. What you need to know is what does the data tell you? All right, so you don't need to know all those things. Why? We're teaching people stuff they don't need to know to solve problems. And they're all math phobic, right? If you look at it, most people are math phobic. And don't pretend you're not, all right? People are. Or even when you started, you looked at some of those formulas and got brain cramps just looking at it, didn't you? All right, so this is the sort of thing that we can eliminate if we just skip over it and start using software to start drawing control charts and histograms of CP and CPK and calculating all that stuff. Nobody needs to know any of that except the programmer. That's it, all right? All that other stuff, if you wanna look into it later, yeah, sure, fine, it's yours. Jump in there. But you don't have to know it to start getting results with Six Sigma. So. Assume that everyone is math phobic, and if you don't, I have people come up to me at these conferences and they go, well, you know, I'm, I'm really uncomfortable with formulas. And I go, you don't have to know formulas. And they, all of a sudden they breathe this huge sigh of release. They weren't breathing while they were thinking about formulas, right? It stresses people out. Stop doing it. All right. So that's my suggestion for this week. Stop teaching people formulas they don't need to know. I'm Jay Arthur. See you next week.